why did you want us to meet you in this restaurant type of place? I was like, wait, wait, where are we going? Well, we're going to go get wine. It's 2 o'clock. No, but if you look back above you, this piece here was the winner. This is Rand Ortner's Open Water Number 24, and this is the winner of the first year in 2009. Let's go up a little bit. So, yeah, so for sure. It's a photograph, yes? No, this no, is a painting. Right. Okay, here we go. This is Rand Ortner's painting. It's actually three canvases. It's yeah. 19 feet wide. Wow. And the bar actually was built around this piece. Uh, and it's pretty amazing. He said it. <laughs> <laughs> so after the first year, Rand Ortner was the grand prize winner. And, that was 2009? Uh, that was 2009. Great. And then the piece was actually purchased by a, a local uh, patron of the arts. And then it was installed here in this wine bar, reserve yeah. wine bar in downtown Grand Rapids. Yeah. And you can tell that it fits perfectly here above the bar and they've got great lighting on it. And it's, it, the beauty of this piece here is you don't have any land, you don't have any sky, it's just the open water. Yeah. And the motion and the light that's reflected here really uh, is somewhat of an homage to the Great Lakes and the, and the water that is so central to Michigan. No uh, doubt. So. Here in a city called Grand Rapids. And Grand Rapids itself, it's you perfect. see it. <laughs> it's great. Yeah. What a great thing for Grand Rapids, let alone the artists. Like, how did it happen that Grand Rapids you know, started an initiative like this? I think it really comes down to the, uh, the passion and the support of, um, of the philanthropic community here, foundational support. Uh, that really started saying, look, what if we invested in art? What if we created this wild idea? What if we supported this wild idea yeah. and made sure that it was successful? Yeah. And over the years, everything from um, organizations, foundational organizations that have, that have come to support this in a philanthropic way, individual donorship, as well as corporate sponsorships have really made this the open and and experience that it that it could be yeah. because we we don't charge an admission to attend any of this. It's all right. free to the public. Yeah. So it really is on the support of the community and the broader community here in Grand Rapids. Yeah. Art around a museum is one thing. Art around the public is a whole other. And there's there's a big discussion in the city of Milwaukee. What's the importance of public art? And if you were to be in the middle of that discussion, what what would you tell people who are like, I don't really get it. Help me. What would you tell them? I think that there's this intrinsic value to public art that a lot of people don't really recognize. You can't put an ROI on it like you can on a hotel or or. Uh, tourism dollars, but what it really does is it creates a vibrant public experience for people. And as people move through and they see art and they get to experience art, it really changes their perspective on the world around them. And I think that this is something that's really important. And there have been studies that have been done that really show that when people are exposed to art in their day-to-day -day lives, their quality of life actually goes up. And, it, and it's, not a, it's not in a way that people can really quantify easily. Art is subjective, isn't yeah. it all? But that subjectivity has really been shown that if you have art around you and that you have a chance to experience art in your day-to-day -day life, your, your sentiment, your happiness, your, your uh, quality of life is that much higher. Yeah. And you might not even realize it, but as you move through the world, who doesn't want to see art? Yeah. Who doesn't want to have a vibrant and, and, and amazing cultural experience around them? Yeah. There's so much concrete in this world. Why not paint some of it? Right. 